Hey y'all, Nani here. Welcome back to my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, just a quick update on my broken foot. It is still completely broken. Uh, it's been, I think it's going on 10 weeks and there has been zero improvement. The, um, I'm just going to show you the x-rays last time on my iPad, but I have a feeling my iPad is not charged, even though I fully charged it for whatever reason, it loses its charge. Like, like I'll fully charge it and then not use it to, to save it. And then when I go to use it, it, the, it's empty, but whatever the, the charge thing doesn't work. I don't know words anyway. So just let me see real quick. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we have 33%. So, um, I am not sure that it's going to have the most recent. Okay, no, 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 I'm not doing any of that. Okay. Oh, it's bright. Not sure. Okay. That it's going to have the most recent pictures of my foot. It might, or x-rays or whatever. What's going on? Okay. This is what is so disheartening. So this, okay. So this photo, I don't know if you can hear me, but this x-ray, see how broken it is? Okay, that's my fourth and fifth metatarsal. And you can actually see the swelling in my feet as well. That's the day of, okay? Looks pretty fucked up. And this is, um, I don't know if that's a good picture. Hold on, just a minute. Uh, okay. This is a picture taken at my last doctor's appointment, which was August 2nd. You let me know if you see any difference. See any difference there? Because I sure don't. At the time this x-ray was taken, it was nine weeks in the boot the entire time. Um, the only thing I was doing that maybe other people that break a foot would be doing would be to use a, uh, use crutches, but that is not an option for me because I have, um, fibro and pushing down on the crutch things um is I already knew like there's no way like I I would really honestly just risk more of a fall another fall because of the pain is so bad when I put I, like I can't even hold my phone up the pain is so bad when I push down on anything that I knew crutches wouldn't be an option so I uh, just kind of, you know, for the first couple of weeks, I just, I, what did, how, how did I even get, oh, I had like a little scooter, which is like a bike kind of thing where you put your knee on it and then you scoot yourself, you know what I mean? Um, but, um, 
but that's, you know, uh, I did that for a couple weeks and then <sighs> that was just to go to the bathroom. I mean, like if I needed to go to the bathroom for other reasons other than urinating, because as I shared, I have a little pee pot. So if I had to pee, I would just, I mean, it, it, it's gross, but it is what it is. I would just pee into this pee pot that has like, it, it, anyway, I highly re recommend getting one. If you ever break a foot or a leg or anything like that, at least for the first couple weeks. Uh, and then after that, I was heel towing everything in my boot. So there's really no pressure on those bones, but it's like they are not, they haven't, from what I can see, they haven't moved a freaking centimeter. Not, no, there's been zero improvement. And what's frightening to me is the orthopedic guy that I went to, he took these pictures Now, this one picture I'm about to show you is the first time anyone has taken, like, I guess what I would call an aerial photo of my boot. My foot. My boot. My foot. So, like, where you can see the top of it. Or it's, it's like, it's like if you're looking down at the top of your foot. Well, when you look at it that way, sure, it looks like the bones are healing up real good. But when you look at them from underneath my foot, which is kind of how they broke, I guess, instead of breaking forward, they broke that way towards the back of my foot. So when you look at them from beneath my foot, there's zero change. So I'm super frustrated with that because we're supposed to go... Uh, on a family vacation to a water park. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I've been going through tons and tons of different Amazon products that will, cause like once you're in the, like obviously I wouldn't be going down any slides. I would just be doing like the lazy river. Once you're in there, it's all good. Um, so I'm hoping that I can do that, but I don't know if they're going to let me in the park with the wheelchair. I don't know. I, I don't know the situation. Um, I'm also, I finally have decided I am going to get the vaccine. I think I mentioned that the only reason I hadn't gotten it is because um, there are certain medications, uh, fluoroquinolones, for instance, which are, uh, really strong antibiotics, uh, like Cipro, for instance, Cipro is used for anthrax. So uh, doctors often prescribe this drug though, for a standard bladder infection, which is completely unnecessary. And drugs like Cipro can cause small fiber neuropathy. Um, apparently that's not what caused mine though. So whatever, nobody knows what caused mine, but, um, I was, you know, very fearful of, okay, I'm not an anti-vaxxer at all. And I may have already talked about this, but you know, my brain, but I, I just wanted to wait and see and make sure mostly with my team of people, my other SFNers in my Facebook groups, because there's some people that are super cautious about that kind of stuff. And some people that know the cause of their SFN. And so they're not as worried about whatever, um, or they're much older and they know like, regardless, uh, I have to get this. So 
I wanted to wait a little bit and see, like, is it affecting people with SFN in a bad way? Like, if I get a couple weeks of side effects from it, whatever, big deal. I'm constantly dealing with something medical anyway. Um, so, I'm the only thing I'm doing is I'm putting it off until after the water park. Um, I don't go anywhere, literally ever, except for to a doctor's office. And when I go, I wear my mask. Uh, I wear gloves. I am extremely careful. Um, at the water park, there would just be, um, I'm doing a video. Uh, I mean, I don't care if you talk, but I'm just letting you know. At the water park, there would be um, lots of chlorinated water. We'd be out in the sun all day. And uh, we're only going with family. Every single person in our family that's going has already been vaccinated. So I don't worry about any. Uh, not that you can't get it when, when you're vaccinated. I am very well aware of that. Uh, and I... I'm just hoping that nobody has it or nobody's a carrier and they give it to me. My concern for that is the long hauler syndrome because I already am dealing with a chronic illness. I don't know what would happen to my body if I got the virus, which is kind of what my thinking was on the vaccine. I was like, I'm just really worried about what my body will do with a vaccine. I've never gotten a vaccine post small fiber neuropathy. So, um, I do worry about those kinds of things, but the, at the end of the day, the risk of not getting the vaccine outweighs, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know if that sounds right, but the risk, okay. The risk of getting COVID outweighs the risks that I might get from a vaccine because um, I, I I just tr truly believe my health is such that if I were to get COVID I would be in the hospital that doesn't necessarily mean I would die there but it certainly uh, a, a, a super nightmare to think about not just um, slowly, you know, drowning to death because you can't fucking breathe, but also dying alone because your family, they won't let your family be with you. Um, so that's not how I've ever pictured going out. Like, I don't want to be alone. Um, so... And, I mean, just to keep it real with you guys, I also have been having a uh, major, major um, depression. Like, deep, um, deep, deep, bad thoughts, that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, it, it's not, it's not good. So I'm working on trying to find a solution for that. I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> but uh, the heavy webs just came home with some food. So I'm going to enjoy that. But I just want to give you an update on my foot. Which is there is no update. Because she's a lazy hoe. That doesn't want to work. Oh, I did... Um, finally got to take an actual shower instead of like a I don't know what you call those it's, not, it's, it's like a bed bath it's not a bed bath it's a honey what's that called when it's like when you're in a hospital or whatever and they give you a they clean you up but it they call it a something bath I guess a sponge bath, but there were there were no sponges involved. Uh, it was more like a um, 
you know, washcloth type of situation. <sighs> my hair's down to my ass crack. I need to get it cut. I'm, I'm sick of this shit. But I wanted to show you the cool thing that Kelly found me that let me take the glorious shower that I took. Hold on. And I, of course, I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so super quick. Uh, the next time we put it on, I because apparently I, I'm just going to be in this boot for the rest of my life. Um, the next time I put it on, I'll try to remember to pick up the camera and show you. And I'm not even sure what it's called. Uh, do you remember what this was called, Kel? No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so it's called a Dry Pro. Um, so just go to Amazon and type in Dry Pro. I think it was like 30 bucks. Well, well, well worth it. And it can be reused, of course, multiple times by anybody. So see how it's kind of like, I mean, anyone with a boot or a cast. But see how it's kind of like, um, there's no light. There's no light. Hold on. I don't know if that helped at all, but uh, it's kind of actually even shaped like a boot, kind of, sort of. So you put it on, and even though that looks really big, it is still kind of a bitch to put on because it's rubber. So you're going to have to have someone else put it on for you unless you've got, I mean, I could put it on if my hands and arms didn't hurt so much. Um, so yeah, anybody could put it on that has the strength or working hands. So then what you do, once you have it on is you make sure, um, so I didn't use, I have two boots. I did not use my, uh, boot that goes up to my knee because it, it doesn't, it didn't give this top part as much space to seal. So I used my short boot. And then this thing is on it and you use this thing on this to suck all the air out, right? It's like one of those sucky vacuum seal bags. Doesn't take long at all. It's very easy to push. I mean, it's not, you know, um, just make sure you don't lose this, but, um, then it just starts kind of, you know how things look when you put them in a sucky bag? Like if you put a steak in a sucky bag and, and then, uh, like you can see the shape of the steak. It's really cool. So, um, went in the shower, did my thing. Uh, it was fantabulous. Still a bitch because like I said my hair th this is all down to like some of it is so long it goes past my ass but it's just like two or three hairs you know what I mean the rest of them I would say just go down to ass level but I I I've lost the but I don't know what to do with it I can't even put it in a messy bun anymore because then it just flops around like this, like puppy dog ears, which I absolutely despise. So I need to get a haircut. But anyway, um, I thought that was a pretty cool contraption uh, to let you shower. But it, it took me... Um, I wanted to feel very, very comfortable in standing in my boot um, in the shower because I just didn't want to have another fall. And Kelly was in there for supervision, but still, like, I'm so paranoid about falling again. I, I just, I can't. I cannot. I can't do that again. <sighs> Anyway, um, I am watching this cool new show. Well, it's not new. Like, it's been out for a little bit. But it's on HBO Max. It's called Doom Patrol. And it's about... It's kind of like... 
a misfit group of anti-heroes, right? But they're not villains. They're just really, like, he, uh, like I'll just give you one example. One guy is, like, a guy that got in this horrible wreck where basically he his body was torn apart and somehow this doctor that makes these misfit anti-heroes was able to put him back together but he has to be in like this it's not just tin it's like steel like a steel man so he's very tall and large the characters played by brendan fraser who was in uh your Honor, which is one of my favorite Brendan Fra Fraser movies, and that was back in the 80s, 90, eight, late 80s, early 90s. One of my favorite movies of all time. Is it, is it called? No, not Your Honor, With Honors. And it's really good. It has Joe Pesci in it. Um, but anyway, so, oh, we also have a bladder infection, so that's super fun. Uh, bladder infection check uh foot still just as fucking broken as it was over two months ago check uh, mental issues fucking with me hardcore check um still have a chronic chronic illness check so many fun things just happening in my life right now i just don't know what to do with myself <laughs> Um, but there is definitely some mental health stuff that I need to put at the top of my priority list and, um, it's, it's just something that I feel like I need to talk to my family about first before I share it. I'm not ashamed of sharing it. Um. I just feel like that's the respectful way they, to handle it. I just feel like my family didn't, know, you know, deserves to know first. Um, but I think it's a, a conversation that needs to be had and shared because I think it will help others. It's certainly something that would help me if I found that on YouTube. Um, yeah, so that's that's really my priority right now. That and getting the health that I can control in check, I guess. Like, really the only one I can control is the bladder infection. So I did have to go to a rapid med yesterday to get all the fun stuff that you get for a bladder infection. Um... If there's any young ladies watching, be sure to always ask, you know, if they're going to give you some antibiotic, tell them no fluoroquinolones. Just say it and then they'll be like, what? And you can say like nothing like Avalox or Cipro. Those are just a couple of them. Uh, just something, just don't get those. Um, Uh, make sure you get fluconazole, which is a pill you can take to prevent a yeast infection rather than having to use that messy ass cream that you have to put up your hoo-ha and then it's all just yucky and gooey, sorry guys, uh, for a week. Um, but use it anecdotally like if you have itching and burning it does work for that um but i always just preemptively whenever i ask for antibiotics i tell them i need diflucan uh or it's called diflucan or you can get fluconazole which um it is this just a little tablet now some only prescribe one, but my uh, hoo-ha 
uh, is kind of a bitch and she needs more than one. So, um, if you can, ask for three. So, and then last but not least, uh, it, I don't know how to say the word. <laughs> um, it's called Fenzo, Fen, Fenzozipridine or something, uh, which is, that's a, per, you know, I got the prescription kind, but you can also buy an over-the-counter version, which is just as good. I mean, it's literally just as good because it's the exact same drug, uh, just over-the-counter. But I asked her to please give me a script because the script is usually cheaper than the stuff you get at the store. The stuff you get at the store is called Azo Standard. I always get maximum strength. Um, it will turn your pee bright red or bright orange, so do not be alarmed. And also, if you know about Azo and you suspect you have a bladder infection, uh, stop taking the Azo 24 hours before your visit because it can affect the outcome of the test. Um, unfortunately, she did the, the doctor I saw when she checked my urine. She said it doesn't appear that you have one, but she's going to culture it and see if bacteria grows. I kind of had a feeling I didn't have one. Um, it just didn't have like it had all the feeling of a bladder infection but okay and I'm, I'm just going to be gross here for a minute the urine didn't look like it had like it was infected like usually it's going to be super cloudy and have a super strong odor like super strong um so I believe what I'm dealing with, which does happen on occasion with people that have this, but also people with small fiber neuropathy and it's called interstitial cystitis. Now, uh, if you just type in like I-N-T-E-R-S-T-I-A-L or something like that, C-Y-S, T-I-T-U-S something uh, you'll find it like Google will correct it and explain it to you uh, but it's extremely um, annoying and painful unless you have the Azo um, once you take the Azo you're not gonna be able to tell that you have a bladder infection if you do indeed have a bladder infection or you're not gonna be able to tell that you're like it, it just makes the um, interstitial cystitis symptoms go away as well, which is oh, amazing. So um, that would be the the first go to would be the Azo standard. It's not going to get rid of the bladder infection though. So if you suspect you have one, you absolutely have to go get antibiotics. Just absolutely have to. It it won't get rid of it otherwise which could uh, move into your kidneys. You definitely don't want a kidney infection. I have had many, and you end up with scars on your kidneys, which could affect your health later on in life. So, um, but again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just sharing my experience. This is something you should absolutely talk to your doctors about. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update on my non-healing foot and... Uh, let you know about my bladder infection because that's super important that you know. Um, and I think that's it for now. I'm going to go back to watching Doom Patrol and eating the yummy sandwich that my husband got for me and spending some time with him. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a beautiful day. Mm.